Okay, so this is the first time uh, I've got to this stage. I've got boob creases from where I've been sitting down. <laughs> so here <laughs> and here. So I think it's uh, about time I start my cut. Um, but yeah, no, I've never got to this stage. I uh, think I'm, uh, let's, I don't know how much I'm weighing. So let's go, let's go find out. <laughs> so we are, oh, I lost my balance. How much are we weighing? 94.6. So the aim is to get down to 90. So that's about a five, four, four and a half kilo loss. Let's do it. So this is how much Danny weighs. Uh, I can't see. What? Why is it so dark? I don't know. How much do you weigh? I already lost. I already lost four kilos. Move your little princess feet. I can't see. Seventy-two. Seventy-two point three. Alright. Uh, yeah, seventy-two point three. <laughs> <sighs> Alright guys, so meal number one in this full day of eating, I've got three soft boiled eggs, uh, I've already eaten one, but uh, a little tip for getting the perfect gooey center, bring the water to a boil, throw your eggs in, leave them in there for five and a half minutes, take them out, put them under cold water, peel them, and it should be perfect. Uh, alongside that, I've got 200 grams of 0% Greek yogurt with some honey from my dad's bees and some cashew nut butter and some banana. So total macros and calories will be on the screen now. Uh, it's quite high fat, quite high protein and moderate carbs. But yeah, uh, I've just started eating this meal because it's like got savory and sweet. So you've got like a main and a dessert, it's quite nice. So throughout this dieting phase, uh, I'm not gonna do any sort of dieting techniques like intermittent fasting or uh, cutting anything out. I'm just gonna eat what I want and hit my calorie and macronutrient targets because I feel that's what works best for me. I can train well, I feel good, and you don't need to overcomplicate it. Just as soon as you put too many restraints on your diet, you will, f it's so much easier to fail. Like uh, as soon as I was like, right, I wasn't hungry for the last three months. As soon as I said, oh, I'm gonna diet and eat really well, I got hungry again. So you need to say to yourself, Everything is on the table. As soon as you limit things, your brain will be like, I want them. That's when the craving starts. But um, yeah, take things simple. Don't cut things out if you don't want to. Just make sure you hit your calorie targets and you'll be all right. So here's to the first diet in about four years. <laughs> I like to just have uh, my supplements, best time to take it. Uh, you can take it on an empty stomach as well, but sometimes it just feels a bit weird. Uh, so just make sure you eat straight away after. Uh, I've got vitamin D and curcumin. Curcumin is great for anti-inflammatory, vitamin D, bone strength, uh, and basically everything under the sun. Omega-3 oils for great cardiovascular and heart health. And then I've just got ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is great because it helps reduce your cortisol levels, stress and anxiety. It's great. And I'm also uh, having some electrolytes here. I know that looks like brown sludge water, but electrolytes mixed in with a bit of uh, collagen as I didn't have my collagen coffee this morning. Uh, so yeah, I will have this and then I'll have my second breakfast slash lunch, I'd say. But yeah, uh, leave it a few hours and then I'll have that. So meal number two is protein oats. Uh, zero points for presentation again. Uh, calories and macros will be on the screen there. Uh, I do usually use more oats and uh, almond milk, but we've ran out, so we'll probably have to go to the grocery store after this. Um, I've also put banana, honey again, and some prunes alongside the impact whey isolate. I like using isolate in protein oats instead of concentrate because it makes it less gelatinous and a bit more, a bit more silky. I don't, one thing I really don't like is like stiff, hard oats um, that are like, it's like eating sludge. I like it a little bit more, a little bit more runny like that. But uh, yeah, that's just an insight into how 
I like to eat my oats. But uh, yeah, this is meal number two, and uh, I think we're gonna go to the grocery store now because we don't actually have much food. So the next meal, we're gonna need to buy some stuff before we make it. Right, you're gonna absolutely. Don't tell me you like that. Why didn't you make me some? I told you. You didn't tell me. <laughs> Baby, good. I mm. always tell you they taste good. They, it's but, not, no, you said we had no milk, and yes. I thought that that would taste like crap with water. That's delicious. How dare you hide this from me? And I demand you make me some. All right, I did. I, I did offer to make. <laughs> I did offer to make her some. Um, I'll make it nice. I'll make it nice. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So it does taste nice, people. Oh, caught my jacket in the... Uh, oh no! <laughs> it just broke my... <laughs> it just ripped my jacket. Uh, nice one. <sighs> there we go. Uh, so, off to the store. Um, in the Audi. And I'm going to show you the best part of being in the Audi. See if you can hear it. Definitely needs an exhaust. Um, but yeah, we're just going to the little store just because we need a few things. I can't be bothered to drive all the way to either Costco or the big Tesco. But yeah, I won't film in the store, but I'll show you what I get once we get home. Woo! Woo, Mr. Woo! Pull back also. I got myself, so we're back. Uh, it was only a little shop, but we got all the essentials for the next few days, such as popcorn and sweets. <laughs> we probably, I, I probably won't have too many, but uh, maybe oh. if we're going to watch a movie, then I'll have some popcorn. But I got myself a little snack. Uh, I got some kombucha and... Where'd you put the beef jerky? Oh, and some beef jerky. So I'll put that on the total calories of the day and let's make some lunch <gasps> with some tzatzai kai kai. <laughs> so one of the best investments recently is a rice cooker. Look at that. I won't go too close because it's steam, but perfectly cooked rice. And I just put it in there. Brilliant. All right, friends, meal number three. So we have ourselves 100 grams of dry rice, obviously cooked, 200 grams of cooked chicken and some tzatziki. Uh, threw on some mushrooms on there as well. Uh, got the same for domi here as well. But uh, yeah, I am uh, zero points for presentation again. But again, I might throw some hot sauce on here, but yeah, this is uh, meal number three. Calories and macronutrients will be on the screen. And yeah, I mean, again, this is a uh, good, I mean, sometimes, most of the time, I would throw more vegetables on here. So I'd use like half an avocado, I'd throw on some tomatoes, but uh, I couldn't be bothered today. So I just had mushrooms. Yeah, nice and simple. And yeah, we're going to enjoy this now. And I might train. I think I'm going to train. So this is my pre-workout meal. So yeah, I'll see you when we work out. Just had to clean up the gym, uh, but I'm listening to The Assassin's Apprentice. Domi got me on this book. Uh, I'm only like half an hour in, but it's really good fun. I love all these kind of like fantasy, uh, mythical stories. Uh, and I'm, a big, I'm a big gamer, if you didn't know already. So like things like Skyrim, The Witcher, all those kind of series I absolutely love. Have to try Baldur's Gate 3, my brother uh, is currently playing it and absolutely loves it and my best friend so um yeah when i find the time I, I squeeze in a few hours here and there but anyway the workout yeah so we're in the uh in the home gym it's currently an absolute state because we were using our spare room as storage because our house doesn't really have much storage other than this garage but i turned it into a gym, home gym uh but our, my parents came so all around the gym right now 
is our excess stuff like our luggage, Christmas stuff. Uh, so I've got a very small area to work out in, uh, but we're going to get a nice chest and back workout in. I'll just give you a quick uh, voiceover or quick just edit of what I'm doing. Um, it's four movements for chest, four movements for back, with maybe some extras thrown here and there. But yes, uh, I'm currently... My intro workout is uh, 30 grams of carbs, 30 to 40 grams of carbs, fast acting carbs. I usually go with like cycle dextrin or something like that. Uh, five grams of creatine and some BCAAs. Again, guys, you don't need BCAAs if you're eating enough protein. Uh, I just have them for flavor and some electrolytes. So, um, yeah, let's get this workout on the road. Uh, I'm gonna do five minutes on the treadmill and then just hit nice, chest and back superset workout. So the rest day workout today was a lovely chest and back session. Um, really quick, uh, was in and out. We only needed uh, three movements for back and three movements for chest, both supersetted. So I started with weighted chins here. So I got around eight reps and then as soon as I, I finished, uh, I went into some scapular retractions for five. And then after I did that, pulled myself back up and did as many pulses as I could. That was pretty difficult. Um, and then I supersetted it with inclined dumbbell press for 10 reps. So from there, we went on to the inclined dumbbell press. Uh, we went for three sets of 10, and then on the last set, going to absolute failure. Now, I always say, um, well, this is how I've been programming for myself recently. First two sets, uh, you go about one shy of failure. This was a pretty easy set for me. Um, and then on the last set, you give it your all. I think I got 12 on my last set. Um, and then on everything today as well, we're performing a double drop set. So you decrease the rate for around th by around 30% and then just go to absolute failure on each one of those drops. So promptly over to the next superset, we were doing incline barbell press for 10 reps. Didn't go too heavy on this. Went for around I think it was 90 kilos for three sets of 10, uh, going close to failure and everything in the last set of failure, uh, into cable pull downs. I was using the special grips, which you'll see soon. Uh, you can also see all the storage that we have in the gym, only have a tiny space to work out. But again, we're controlling the movement. We're not trying to arch our back too much, but allowing enough so they don't put too much pressure on the shoulders. Again, uh, controlling the weight and coming just below 90 degrees on your elbows. So from there, we went into cable pull downs. I was using a special grip here. Uh, these are these special handles that are like quite ergonomically pleasing for the hand. Um, again, I was trying to bury each and every rep, pulling my elbows back as far as I could while keeping my chest high. Um, I went for 12 reps there, and then we were straight on to the next superset, which was uh, cable flies, we're doing 15 to 20 reps here. Uh, I'm just showing you uh, some of the rep because it was a very long set. So again, like I said in the previous video, I'm trying to bring my elbows together, although it looks like I'm trying to bring my hands together, maximizing the contraction in the chest. So just like everything else, I'm doing a double drop set in the last set of each set. Um, then we went to bent over rows. Now I'm doing bent over rows slightly differently now. Uh, as you can see, my body here, is pretty much 90 degrees. You'll see most people having more upright position, but I'm really trying to target the traps, the rhomboids and the upper back here more so because I found out by visit visiting the physio that my upper back and the trap area is quite weak. That's why I'm experiencing a bit, experiencing a bit of pain in my back. So yeah, next time you want to try bent over rows, give this a go because uh, that's how I've been doing it. But that's the workout, nice, short, sharp and quick. Uh, give it a go and I'll see you in the next clip. Friends, workout done. This is the uh, current physique, 94 kilos in the morning before any food. I'm feeling good, feeling fairly strong. Um, feeling all right, I mean, I do want to drop these four kilos because when I'm at 90 or around 90 kilos, that's when I tend to feel my best, most athletic. Uh, funnily enough, strongest as well. I don't know, I feel a bit lethargic at the moment. Um, but to everyone asking, I'm 181 centimeters tall. I have been for the last long time, I think since I was 17. But yeah, this is me. Nothing, uh, nothing too special. I don't know how to do all the flexing stuff. So this is me, right. Let's go get our post-workout shake.
friends. So last meal of the day. Um, so when I did come in, I had 40 grams of whey isolate alongside two bananas. So I'll put that on the calorie counter here. Also, during the workout, we had 30 grams of carbohydrate. Uh, and this is dinner, uh, nothing too special. We're getting in our veggies a little bit more. So I've got uh, one oven cooked pepper, some courgette, sweet potatoes, and 230 grams of a rump steak. Uh, this, I mean, you can't go wrong with sweet potatoes. And I'm, I, I went off them for ages, but now I've started cooking them again and absolutely love them. So uh, this is my last meal. The totals will be on the screen for the day. Um, for the calories right now, uh, they're staying reasonably high. My diet does change on a daily basis. I am lucky enough to work from home so I can cook most of my meals. Uh, I One of the main things that I think really took me out is that we were eating out a lot over these last like six months. Like I, any opportunity to eat, eat out, I would just be like, yep, let's, let's go. <laughs> um, I don't regret it, it was amazing. But the the main focus over the next eight weeks eight, 12 weeks is to know how much I'm getting myself. It's, we will be eating out every now and again, and I will incorporate at least one cheat meal or, you know, one day where I eat a little bit more of what I want. Uh, but we will be in a controlled calorie deficit. So right now the calories are still quite high and over every week I will either remove about a hundred calories, 50 to hundred calories or implement one more cardio um, one more cardio session. I will be going over my current training routine in the next video, um, but I'm currently training weights five days a week and uh, cardio three days a week, which is usually after my sessions, either 20 minutes incline walk with a weighted vest or some sort of finisher, and I'll keep adding in sessions until we get to the final result of hopefully just under 90 kilos, but yeah, before this gets cold, I'm going to enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's great being back. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And yeah, uh, Domi has the exact same meal, but with salmon. And yeah, it's uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hungry now. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.